Hello, chosen ones. I want to talk to you all today about how much Jesus loves you. I feel that I need to get this word out. So here I go. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I am glad you have joined this channel. I pray you return. But I want to read you all a scripture in John 15, 9, all the way down to 17. And it says, as the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you. And that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this. Than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I have commanded you, that you love one another. Isn't that love, you all? That is how much Jesus loved us. He said we are not his servants no longer. He called us his friends. This scripture can be found in John 15 nine all the way down to 17 we need to know this in a time like this some people think that because they have done things wrong that jesus does not love them but i am here to tell you me a person like me with a past jesus loves me god has never stopped loving me no matter what i have done wrong so do not go around in this life thinking that you have done something so horrible that Jesus turned his back on you. Do not believe that because that is not true. Do not let no one tell you otherwise because as you see in this scripture right here, Jesus loves us. He never stops loving us. But he do want us to follow God's commandments the Holy Spirit's commandments we must do that and it helps us it benefits us because when we are out of alignment with God's way what happens bad things happen the promises that we are promised are put on hold we take a whole nother detour that can last for years and years if we don't get it soon enough if we don't repent soon enough but god loves us jesus loves us do not never forget that he laid down his life for us you all see what he said in that verse he laid down his life for a friend there's no greater love than that he sacrificed himself for our sins so how can we not, how can we think that, you know, when we think that Jesus doesn't love us, we already know that is nothing but the enemy. He plants those bad seeds in our head. Not God. That's the enemy doing that to us. But if we stay grounded in God's word and we read God's word and we meditate on his word, the enemy cannot overpower overpower us with those thoughts and with those things because we will be grounded in God's word and we will know the truth and his truth is in the Bible so we must always remember that Jesus 
loves us. He wants us to bear much fruit. He wants us to have it all. He wants us to have it all and do not let no one tell you all otherwise. And I will talk to you all in the next video. One more thing. Remember, Jesus loves you no matter what your past look like. No matter what, he loves you. Please do not let nobody tell you different. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. It's enough going on out here. We do not need extra things that is untrue sitting in our heads. So remember, Jesus loves you forever and always. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Oh, Holy Spirit put it on my heart to pray. I pray you all. Pray with you all. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you cover whoever is listening to this video, Father, even the ones that is not, Father, in the name of Jesus, cover them with your blood, Father, that they will have a healthy day, a healthy life, Father, in the name of Jesus. They will seek peace out of this word, knowing that you love them forever and always. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. You all blessings and i will see you all in the next video <laughs>